And actually, I'm gonna add this before I edit. I forgot to mention, my name is Kristen. My husband is Matthew, and we have two boys, Wyatt and Haston. And we just wanna show you guys our homestead. Hi, y'all. I'm Kristen. This is Lazy Sea Homestead. Um, I'm making this video to kind of give an introduction to all of our subscribers. Never really done an actual farm tour, I guess. Um, and the horses are up, so it's a perfect opportunity. The cows aren't, but that's okay. We've done quite a few improvements in the whole year that we've been on YouTube. We have lived in this location for three years now, and we live on 40 acres. We utilize probably about five or six acres. The majority of this 40 acres is all wooded for hunting. We, we hunt deer, squirrels, you know. We're outdoors type people. Uh, we have two ponds on the property that we that have fish in them, so we also have fish. But I guess the first thing I'm gonna introduce you guys to is the very first animal you see when you walk out my back door. This is Bacon. She was a orphaned wild baby pig. My husband brought her home one evening and uh, she is definitely not a wild pig anymore. She is extra hairy. And I'm actually going to relocate her pen from directly behind the house. Probably still behind the house, but just over there under those trees. We have a diversified agricultural uh, experience here, I guess is a good way to put it. We raise um, a garden for home use. The pig was originally going to be for butcher, but after bottle raising her for the lot, and her, she's about four months old now, three, three months old, I think. She's probably not going to be a uh, viable food source for us anymore. But we, our goal is to raise enough meat that we don't have to buy any. So 50% of what goes on our plates is going to be farm sourced, either local farms or here on our farm. When you walk around the house, there's a few trees. And I have two pins. Well, it's one big pin, but it divided into two. Here are some of my hatched birds that I've done. There is a mixture of laying hens and uh, bantams, because we do have a flock of each. And we also have Katornix quail, which are a meat quail. They're prolific layers also, so if somebody's wanting a small animal for homestead, these are a good option for that. Along with our flock of chickens, we do raise some meat chickens every year. We had 10 this year, um, processing out nine. That's including a rooster, as well as um, we have two turkeys to process this year. One of the predominant things that you will notice on our farm, which I will turn and let you see right now, is that we have a pretty modest herd of small ruminants whether it be, these are actually young goats. These are this year's winged goats. But we also have four sheep, which I purchased to kind of see if we might like them. The other large thing that you will see on our property would be horses. Um, before Matt and I decided to be parents and homesteaders, we actually were horse people. And that's one of the things that's bonded us is the fact that we both have a love for horses. We have four right now. We have these three. The yellow one is mine, that's Critter. And then uh, the one in the middle is Dreamer, that's Wyatt's. And then the far one is actually mine also. Her name is PR. And we just recently, about a month ago, purchased another. And his name is Sunny. He just got named. I'll turn this around and let you get a look at him. There he is. He had to be gelded, so he has to be separated from everybody. He is an unbroken uh, three-year-old, and he's actually turned into a pretty nice horse. Now, it's kind of warm today, but I will travel out across the pasture to our movable flock of goats, um, or herd, are they herd or flock? I don't know, herd of goats. They, uh, we have our nanny goat herd. There's actually six out here. All right, so they are actually sitting in the shade because it is pretty warm today. It is. Um, June the 14th so it is and it's pretty warm 
But we have Lily, who's here, is a, she's half rough collie, half Anatolian shepherd. And she is the flock protector. She lives with the goats full time. And, let's see. I'm not sure if you can see them real well. Maybe, let me go around and I'll, I'll get in and show you guys. All right, so here under this tree is four of our six goats and Lily running around like a crazy person. And then over here is the other two females that we have that are adults. Um, these two are actually Kiko and Boar with a small amount of fainting goat. While the remainder of our flock is either out of a Kiko cross buck and, and then the two bigger, the other two bigger nannies that we have they have a small amount of milk goat in them as well, so they have huge udders. But I don't plan on milking them, they are not the nicest goats, so. Other than our habit of sheep and goats and horses, mostly goats <laughs> at this point, um, I also, one of my girls that I purchased this year is a high class caliber uh, Nigerian dwarf so she should be an amazing milker. Her mom milks half a gallon a day while nursing two kids. So you cannot tell me that that is not some amazing milking lines. Um, well, the cows are not up. Let me turn this around again. Actually, I'll turn around with it. So behind me, there's four strands of electric wire that separates about two and a half acres of pasture with a lot of trees. And that is where our two beef cattle live currently. We have a bull calf and a heifer calf. Um, the heifer is a Brangus, and he is an Angus. Well, um, <laughs> Wyatt purchased the heifer from my grandparents, so she's out of some really good beef stock. And our little bull calf, you'll be able to see back in some videos that he was a bottle calf that was gifted to us. and. He turned out pretty awesome. You can see the horses a little better from this way. PR's the one that's closest to us and Critter's the one that's farthest away. We have a flock of approximately 15 chickens. Um, most of them are hens and that is not including the panty chickens. So we get on average 10 eggs a day. Um, I, well I keep saying no, sorry guys. I don't sell eggs. I've tried to sell eggs. Nobody wants my eggs. <laughs> so I usually gift them and I don't mind that at all because in my philosophy you give what is provided to you and it multiplies. So I give eggs to people who need them or people we care about and I get something back in return. God blesses me for my blessing to you. Our final stop on this journey around our homestead is my garden. I have, uh, I don't know, quite a bit of garden. I've never actually added up the square footage. We also raise working border collies that are registered with the ABCA. Um, we focus on blue merles, but color is not um, an issue here. <laughs> color is not an issue here. We have um, my foundation, man I keep saying um, my foundation female is actually a blue merle and we purchased her several years ago without any intentions of breeding her, but the opportunity arose and get down! So she is now a, a mom. And this is her. This is Mia. She's a great little dog. And actually I'm going to add this before I edit. I forgot to mention, my name is Kristen. My husband is Matthew, and we have two boys, Wyatt and Haston, and we just want to show you guys our homestead. Thank you all for coming on this little tour of our homestead. I am really pleased that I have lots of new subscribers. I think we're up to 218 as of today when I checked. Thank you guys for all of your support, all of your comments, and thank you for supporting us on Facebook and Instagram as well. We really appreciate all the feedback and I really enjoy talking to all of you. Thank you, God bless, and we'll see you soon.